Three things decide which programming language will be in a trend in upcoming time. Sponsorship, community, and technology. Speaking of community size, bigger the better. But the main role for sustainability and growth of programming languages is paid by sponsorship. Here, sponsorship does not necessarily mean money, but a force that keeps that language relevant regardless of community effort. Meaning sponsorship does not guarantee the growth, but at least language will not die. For example, Swift can't be removed from the list of future-proof language until Apple drops its sponsorship of it. Same goes with other languages like Kotlin and Java, which are backed by Android development. But yes, Java is not only dependent on Android sponsorship, it is owned by Oracle Corporation, uh, which itself has a $481 billion market cap, and they primarily use Java. So Java is not going anywhere with support from Oracle and, and frameworks like Spring and Spark, which are used by developers across the world. While talking about frameworks and libraries, we have to mention the big ecosystem of Python, which covers web development, machine learning, or crypto and algorithmic trading. Someone on the internet says Python has around 137,000 libraries. I think it has to be more, but still creating 137,000 libraries for new languages is like a big task, or we can say very big task. Not only libraries, but if a big application is using one language, then it can survive against advancement. For example, 506 million websites are powered by WordPress, which is around 43% of the world's internet. So if this much portion of the internet is using one language, then it's hard for a language to get less popular, but still WordPress managed to do that. According to the Stack Overflow Developer Survey 2018, PHP was 30% popular as compared to other languages, while in 2024, PHP moved to 18% in popularity. But did you notice Python was standing at around 38%, and in 2024, it skyrocketed to a whopping 51% in popularity, which is because of advancements in machine learning. In 2015-16, respectively, TensorFlow and PyTorch were launched, which has increased the use of Python in AIML. So technological advancement plays a major role in the change of popularity. When cloud computing was adopted by many, many big companies, languages like Go and Rust also gained popularity due to support for cloud infrastructure and memory safety. Similarly, JavaScript was also part of the advancement because everyone wants to add their name in the input field and send it to the cute girl on the internet. But what they don't realize is that behind that cute face, there's an old man enjoying his retirement days. So just don't stress over which language you start with. Pick Python or JavaScript or go with C or C++ and start building things. Yes, if you have a particular domain in mind, then go for a language that is perfect for that domain currently. For example, Python for machine learning, R for data analysis, or if you're into hacking, go for HTML. If you are a beginner, just don't go with a language like COBOL or Fortran, which are good languages, but not for beginners. Once you learn two or three languages like Python or C, then you are good to go. If you're wondering why you should learn C, then check out this video. Thank you for your time.